You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. Let's begin the show with the festivities of Hindu New Year that was recently celebrated across various parts of the country. Though observed with different names, these festivals mostly mark the arrival of the spring season and are celebrated with immense enthusiasm. The month of April is all about celebrating various religious festivals with gusto and fervor. During this time, Various states in India celebrate their traditional New Year with different names to mark the beginning of Chaitra month. In Maharashtra, it is observed as Guri Parva that leads up to Ram Navmi, which is celebrated on the ninth day. The festival is observed with colorful floor decorations called Rangoli, a special Guri flag, street processions, dancing and festive foods. Also known as Brahma's flag, Guri is a bright green saffron or yellow cloth tied to a tip of a long bamboo over which sugar crystals, neem leaves, a twig of mango leaves and a garland of red flowers is tied. A silver or copper pot is placed in the inverted position over it. Then this Guri, which is regarded as a symbol of victory, is hoisted outside the house, especially at a high place so that everybody can see it. There are several beliefs associated with the festival and Maharashtrians, even living in another parts of the country, observe the occasion with great enthusiasm. आज सृष्टि का निर्माण हुआ था जो ब्रह्मा जी ने किया था उस अवसर पर हम लोग गुड़ी को गुड़ी की पूजा करते हैं और दूसरा जो राम भगवान ने विजय पाई थी इस वजह से वहाँ पे जब वो गुड़ी लेके मतलब तब से गुड़ी का एक दूसरी बात बोले तो वहाँ से विजय हुआ था मतलब विजय का एक प्रतीक है गुड़ी इस अवसर पर हम लोग गुड़ी पड़वा का जो परम्परा है वो तब से चली आ रही है और हम लोग सेलिब्रेट करते ही Swagat Yatra or Shobha Yatra is a big part of the Guri Parva celebrations and is organized in various parts of the country. The procession that takes place is likely an explosion of colors, blending tradition with modernity. Several people, no matter youngsters or adults, join the Yatra and dance to the beats of tolls and tashas. This two decade old tradition marks the celebrations that were done for Lord Ram after his return to Ayodhya after completing 14 years of exile. Aaj Sri Ram Chandra ji ka aaye the iski wajah se aaj ye Hindu Navar se din Gudi Padwa ke naam se prachalit hai aur pure Maharashtra mein to pure Hindustan mein ye Sri Ram ji ka jo jeet kar aaye the uske wajah se sab log ye din manate hain ye सारे हिंदुस्तान में अच्छे अच्छे तरह से रथ बनाए जाते हैं रैलियाँ बनाई जाती है सुबह सुबह सब पारंपरिक उनका गणवेश पहन के आते हैं और जोरों शोरों से बहुत जोरों शोरों से ये दिन ये जीत का महोत्सव मनाते हैं मैथी कम्युनिटी अ मेजर इतनी ग्रुप ऑफ मणिपुर दैट फॉलो द रिलीजन ऑफ सन महिजम सेलिब्रेट्स एट लून न्यू ईयर विद द नेम सैजबू नॉनमा पानबा The day begins with ritualistic offerings of fruits, vegetables, rice and other uncooked food items to the Maithi deity Lelingdo Sanmahi during the early morning of the festival. After this, an even number of dishes are prepared using the offerings. These dishes are then exchanged with relatives and neighbors and this is known as Maithi Lanba. After the feast it is a tradition that family members climb to a small hillock to pay homage to the hill deity signifying the elevation of the spirit to reach the divine this is called chinkaba asi athane han laman haktak tagi samna ba ai gi pa madu simana mitai gi si jam pam jai aluna legi di legi dare legi daba imai pa ani mitai gi 
Canor Kanglonda Dum Togi Aduna, you might pan a pam German mina, a quiju, Kanotoya do Hanaki, a Masi am Nuai, a quay, Nuai Basi, Manipur Pumbagi in the Nuaiba, Amani, and a Loge, Madame di Kobina Hantaragati Rauching Cab, Muhana Pang by the sea, a quay praza, a quay diam Nuaiji. In Andhra Pradesh, the same occasion is observed as Ugari and in Karnataka as Yugari, which is assumed to be the first day of creation of Earth. On this day, people also visit the nearest temples and offer prayers so that the upcoming year brings good luck and blessings of the Almighty. Moreover, as India is an agrarian society and the celebration of most of the festivals is often linked to the sowing and reaping of crops, this festival also marks the end of rubby crop season. India is a country where Sufism has not just flourished but has also become a way of integrating different religious communities. Even today, the teachings of these saints inform the lives of people and this was very well reflected during the special prayers offered at the shrine of Saint Sayyid Shah Mastan Baba in Midnapur, where people of all faiths assembled to seek the blessings of the holy saint. Cutting across all the religious lines, pilgrims throng the Dargah of Sayyid Shah Mastan Baba in Mindapur city of West Bengal. The Dargah witnessed devotees coming together in the spirit of humanity and commemorated the Urs or death anniversary of the Sufi saint. During Urs, priests and scholars chanted verses from the Holy Quran. अनुष्ठान शुरू हुआ तो उससे हिंदू मुसलमान सब मानता है तो इसी हिसाब से यहां उनका और उस चलता है हमारा ब्लॉक ऑफिसर भी आया था और बड़े-बड़े नेता भी आया हिंदू भी आया मुस्लिम भी आया इस अनुष्ठान में आप शामिल हुआ था सिचुएटेड इन द अंधेरिया विलेज ऑफ द सिटी दिस श्राइन वाज ब्यूटीफुली डेकोरेटेड विद लाइटिंग्स एंड हैंगिंग्स ऑर्गेनाइजर्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड क्लोथ्स एंड बुक्स टू द नीडी किड्स विद अ मोटिव टू हेल्प द कम्युनिटी Legend goes that Mastan Baba used to save Andharya and nearby villages from dacoits and theft. It is believed that there has been no case of dacoity ever since the saint came to the village. The Dargah is revered by devotees of all creed, castes and religions. Sampriti ka na Hindu Muslimwan ho gayi aaj. Ultimately, bigo to do bocho dhore. Jee bhabe Hindu Muslimwan ne ekta swamsport so aaj. Ekun seta sampriti barda pori aaj. Bibi no bhabe gach lagan aur madam ei madhe usu der madam ei gach bili hoyche. Bos to gurib der bili hoyche. Eba kum bibi no jaiga theke manus sudur posari shiki to kotha vatta sunar jonno. Ei mastanji bhabe 2022 er jol sate hajir hoyche. The message of peace and brotherhood comes out loud from these dargahs and these sites have been acting as symbols of communal harmony for ages. Now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Health workers hiked hilly terrains to reach villagers for a coronavirus vaccination drive for 12 to 14 year old children in far flung areas of Jammu and Kashmir territory. Indian Army personnel escorted health workers to villages of the territory's Baramula district and gave vaccines short to about 50 children. Today, we have a vaccine. I am very thankful to the Indian Army. They help us very much. 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 Meanwhile, the Indian capital New Delhi and Western Maharashtra state made wearing masks optional after a steep fall in the number of active cases and deaths from COVID-19 in recent days. Muslims in India began the holy month of Ramadan in New Delhi with prayers before the daybreak. After prayers, people gathered for Sehri, a ceremonial feast before commencing of the fast outside mosques in decorated festive markets. Ramadan ka mere maksud hai ki jhoot na bola jaye, kisi ke dhibak na kiya jaye, kisi ko dhoka na diya jaye. Matlab bilkul din ke mutabik Islam is baat ko hukm deta hai ki bilkul sidhe raastep chaliye. Kisi ko taklif mat dijiye, apne parosi ko khyal rakhiye aur jo aap ke paas zakat ka hamare ek masla hai. Large crowds adorned the markets ahead of beginning of Ramadan fasting. 
During Ramadan, Muslims around the world fast from sunrise to sunset and devote a majority of their time to Quranic activities which majorly include reciting from their holy book Quran. Muslims account for about 14% of India's 1.4 billion plus population. Zoo authorities have made special arrangements to protect the animals of Nehru Zoological Park from the rising mercury in southern Hyderabad city. Even air coolers and fans have been installed in cages so that animals like lions and tigers don't lose their cool. In all the night houses of the all carnivores and primates, monkeys will arrange the coolers. And also particularly for birds and reptiles, we'll arrange, we have arranged all the foggers. So that uh, foggers means uh, sprinkling of the water on the body and as well as in the enclosure. So that ambient temperature will be decreased. Zoologists say rising temperatures adversely affect the metabolic rates of animal. The first impact is apparent through a reduced appetite. Zoo animals are the worst affected by a change in temperature as they have been displaced from their natural habitats and kept in places where the temperatures are not favorable to their bodies. Located in the tropics, most of the India witnesses a very hot summer and a largely temperate winter. And now we will take you to East Champaran in Bihar where a Muslim man has donated land worth Rs 2.5 crores for the construction of world's biggest Ramayana temple. Take a look. It is quite common in India to see people of one religious community coming forward to extend their helping hand to other communities. Setting an example of the same, a Muslim businessman, Ishtiaq Ahmad Khan, has donated his land worth Rs 2.5 crore for the Virat Ramayan Mandir, whose construction will soon begin at Kesarya in East Champaran district of Bihar. मंदिर के जो जमीन एरा का था उसमें मेजर जमीन का पार्ट हम ही लोग का था तो हमारे चचा लोग जो जमीन देना शुरू किए अगर वो नहीं देते तो आज ये पोजीशन नहीं रहता इस मंदिर का जमीन का प्रक्रिया मतलब ये नहीं होता और जब सब कोई जब हमारे चचा लोग दिए हैं और इनसे ललन बाबू से जब बात हुआ तो हमने Ishtiaq Ahmad Khan, a petroleum transporter based in East Champaran, has over 30 acres of land. He decided to donate some land to the Temple Trust after knowing that the Trust needed more land for the project. The Temple is expected to be world's biggest Ramayana temple and is being developed on 125-acre land with a total budget of 500 crores by Mahavir Mandir Trust. So, कम से कम हम लोग का भी तो कुछ फर्ज बनता है कि हम लोग भी सहयोग करें आगे बढ़ाया जाए नहीं एक बहुत बड़ी काम हो रही है ना इतनी बड़ी मंदिर बन रही है तो उसमें अब पैसा हम क्या लें भगवान तो दे ही रहा है पैसा दूसरे तरफ से तो हम उसमें पैसा क्या लें पैसा लेके other Muslim families have also sold their land to the Mahavir Mandir Trust to help them in the construction of the temple. Hordes of tourists are visiting Jammu and Kashmir to witness the charm and elegance of its spring season. The administration is all geared up to make it successful with a number of activities planned and lined up for visitors in Kashmir Valley. Have a look. Spring is in full bloom in Kashmir. The green grass has covered the hills and plains of the valley and blossoms of apricot, almond and cherry trees are presenting a mesmerizing sight. The Mughal Gardens of Srinagar has broken out into a profusion of blooms. The Dal Lake, which is regarded as jewel in the crown of Kashmir, has come to life with dainty shikaras adding more to its beauty. In all, the nature is in the prime of its youth during this season. And to make it more colourful and pleasant for the tourists, Tourism Department of Jammu and Kashmir is busy doing all the arrangements. 
from providing comfortable hotels and houseboat services to organizing a number of festivals. They are all set to look after the need of tourists and make the spring yet another successful tourist season. Spring is a time for celebration. Spring is a time for festivities, and this is the time जब हमारे यहाँ spring के songs, spring के gardens जो हैं वो celebrate होते हैं. इस साल भी हमने celebration का बहुत बड़ा एक program बनाया है, and we are hoping to work very closely with the travel trade, and we are hoping for a wonderful spring season as well. The floriculture department is also done with its preparations and is providing a majestic experience to tourists. The officials are quite hopeful that the way Kashmir witnessed the highest tourist footfall of decade during winters, the spring too will give similar results. Winters में भी बहुत अच्छा tourist rush रहा अगर आप गुलमर्ग की बात करें या बाकी जो tourist destination winters में open थे इस साल भी बहुत सारे tourist destination open थे तो वो trend देख के हमें ये पूरी expectation है और आज हम देख भी रहे हैं कि ये जो हमारा spring season है क्योंकि मैंने पहले ही बोला एक वेलकम सीजन है टूरिज्म टूरिस्ट टूरिस के लिए तो इसमें टूरिस्ट फ्लो भी फुटफॉल भी बहुत ज़्यादा रहेगा और इसके साथ साथ जो हमारे टूरिस्ट ये स्प्रिंग फेस्टिवल्स होते हैं जैसे बादामवारी हमारा होता है या हमारा ट्यूलिप गार्डन का अभी होने ओपन होने वाला है तो ये भी एक अट्रैक्टिव एक डेस्टिनेशन एक अट्रैक्टिव स्पॉट्स हैं जिस हिसाब से कि ओवरऑल फुटफॉल जो टूरिस्ट का है वो इंक्रीज़ ही रहेगा Tourism players like houseboat owners, shopkeepers, taxi drivers and many more are also optimistic of doing a good business this season. Many tourists have started thronging the valley to soak their senses in the floral charm that the spring is offering. बहुत ही एटमॉस्फेयर यहां का बहुत अच्छा है हम गुजरात से आए हुए हैं और हम 2 दिन से यहां श्रीनगर में घूम रहे हैं और ये जो गार्डन है ये भी व्यू बहुत अच्छा है ये दाल लेक के बिल्कुल सामने है गार्डन है हम पूरा फैमिली के साथ यहाँ घूमने आए हैं कश्मीर एक बार तो आना ही चाहिए दो ऑल द सीजन इन कश्मीर हैव द एल और दैट बेकन ट्रेवलर्स फ्रॉम ऑल ओवर इंडिया एंड अब्रॉड बट स्प्रिंग इज द टाइम वेन नेचर इज इन इट्स फाइनेस्ट मूड्स मेकिंग इट द मोस्ट आइडियल सीजन फॉर टूरिज्म And in the end, we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. The Grammys closed out the conventional American awards season with a star-studded red carpet. The ceremony was originally scheduled to be the earliest show in awards season, but was delayed because of the coronavirus pandemic. The Grammy Awards which normally take place in either Los Angeles or New York this year were moved to Las Vegas because of coronavirus restrictions. However, after the Will Smith slapping incident which overshadowed the Oscars, it was time for awards season to get back on track. Blues singer Bonnie Raitt was given the Lifetime Achievement Award during the ceremony. The ceremony included tributes to composer Stephen Sondheim. featuring west side stories Rachel Zegler as well as a memorial to Foo Fighters drummer Taylor Hawkins Zegler paid tribute to Sondheim on the red carpet while many of the rock nominees spoke about their fondness for Hawkins Japan's Yaskawa company has developed an industrial robot with artificial intelligence which determines the color and shape of the objects and transports them to their correct position. Yaskawa company is evolving in various fields including the automobile industry and parts manufacturing according with the needs of the era. In the current world, the world of manufacturing is not able to be able to do it with the coronavirus pandemic, but the need for the work is not able to be able to do it with the coronavirus pandemic. 技能のプロフェッショナルがやっぱり高齢化して、えー、なかなか引き継げないということで人が少なくなっているということがありますので、えー、そこの自動化ですねを進めたいと単純なあの量産というのではなくなってきているということがありますので編集編量に対応するものづくりのソリューションが必要になると。
Yaskawa Electrics Technology has the mission to support global manufacturing industry continuously. A female Egyptian artist has merged folk art with traditional water containers in producing handmade decorative lanterns during the Islamic holy month of Ramadan. Egyptians celebrate by purchasing lanterns to garnish their houses, streets and neighborhoods during the holy month of Ramadan. Abir Antar, an Egyptian artist turned part of her house into a workshop to unleash her innovative instincts. She tailored clothes, painted and lately she discovered her talent in making Ramadan inspired items. She merged traditional Egyptian water containers with oriental art in making lanterns this year. I use kula, which in our folklore is how people used to drink water. It's made from clay and is said to purify water and keeps it cool way before fridges were made. It's not commonly used here anymore except as a decorative item in homes. Lanterns have been associated with Ramadan in Egypt since the Fatimid Caliphate more than 1100 years ago. Nowadays, lanterns are common gifts for children in the holy fasting month. In order to spread the joyful spirit of Ramadan, Abi tries to make each kular lantern special. This is the roadside station Kisarazu Umakuta Nosato in Kisarazu city, Chiba prefecture. Inside the store there is also a large peanut. Chiba prefecture produces the largest amount of peanuts in Japan and therefore is a local specialty here. This is the farm cafe restaurant and tree is located in the corner of the store. It is a popular restaurant with a menu that uses plenty of local vegetables. In the popular meal menu, especially peanut soft ice cream is one of the restaurant's most popular one. This restaurant also sells soft ice cream made with Kisarazu specialty blueberry. This soft cream provides crunchy feeling which is similar to that of shaved ice. Furthermore, the unique shape of this soft cream is popular among tourists. Soft cream made with local peanuts has rich and delicious taste and its unique shape contributes to attract visitors and future visitors on social media. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at ani.com. I'm your host Uzma Jafri and it's goodbye from the entire production team. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.